game everyone's talking about. I want to begin, though, with our big stories, that top-secret 9-11 report and today's NSA bombshell. Joining me to talk about both is Congressman Stephen Lynch of Massachusetts. Uh, thank you, Congressman, for joining me. Uh, you're heavily involved in both of these things in different ways. Tell me, first of all, about this NSA ruling today. How significant is it? How likely is it this will go to the very top of the legal system in America? Well, I, I think it was a, uh, a victory for the Fourth Amendment, uh, Pierce. I, I think that it's a, a logical conclusion uh, in terms of uh, protecting our, our rights to unreasonable search and seizure. Um, and, and I think that the, the court came down on the right side of, of the issue. And even though today's decision was just for a preliminary injunction, I think the, the text of the, the justice's decision indicate that they they would in fact rule that this is unconstitutional it was a pretty scathing uh, verdict in the end wasn't it talking about how the founding fathers would never have countenanced this kind of behavior by a government edward snowden weighed in tonight saying today a secret program authorized by a secret court was when exposed to the light of day found to violate americans rights it's the first of many has edward snowden been vindicated by this ruling well, he, I think he's been proven right in terms of uh, his, his views of, of, of this program. I, I'm not so sure that people think he's right in terms of how he responded individually. How should he have responded then? If he was there reading about all this, feeling concerned it breached Americans' constitutional rights, what else should he have done? Well, uh, you know... I'm, I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to argue against the fact that he brought a lot of things to light, uh, but I think that maybe in some some ways he may have exposed some of our people uh, to to great dangers in the process of doing that, and I really can't I really can't endorse that by by putting some of our people that are working clandestinely in other places and putting them in a, in a position where they are exposed. So uh, there's some, obviously, there's some good that was done here in terms of disclosing the operations uh, of this NSA program, especially the, the bulk gathering of, uh, of data uh, that the court has ruled, at least in this instance, to be unconstitutional. Is the way forward for Edward Snowden, perhaps, to take the advice or suggestion from an NSA official in a 60 Minutes special at the weekend, which was that he should perhaps be considered for an amnesty? Let's listen well, to what he said, actually, before you answer that. Let sure, me just play what he said. Sure. My personal view is, yes, it's worth having a conversation about. I would need assurances that the remainder of the data could be secured, and, and my bar for those assurances would be very high. It would be more than just an assertion on his part. I mean, I suppose if Edward Snowden was to give back the, the, the substantial data that he's so far not revealed in return for an amnesty, would that be a sensible conclusion to this, given this court ruling today? I would need to lo know a lot more about it before I, before I made that type of conclusion. But, but uh, let's just say that uh, Edward Snowden has, has shown a light on some of these programs that that uh, a, a great amount of good has resulted from. Uh, that doesn't necessarily uh, give him a pass on some other things that, that may yet to unfold or, or uh, some damage that I'm not aware of right now that may have occurred because of his actions as well. Let's turn uh, quickly to this uh, report. Uh, you and Re Representative Walter Jones have proposed Congress pass a resolution asking President Obama to declassify the entire 2002 report into 9-11, uh, the joint inquiry into intelligence community activities before and after the terror attacks of September 11th, 2001. Why have you done this? And I know that you've read what has not been revealed to the public, and you can't talk about the precise detail, but how concerned should we be about what we haven't been told? Well, uh, I think that in this case, transparency is, is the way to go. Uh, not just because of the, 
the value in that of, of having this information out there. Remember, there was a very extensive uh, report, the 9-11 report, uh, hundreds and hundreds of pages, but these 28 pages were actually excised from, from that report. So these are not, uh, you know, these are not just re redactions. These, the 20, 28 pages that, that I read and that Walter Jones read have actually been pulled from the report completely. Uh, I think transparency would be served by this. Number two, I think if you think about the families who lost loved ones in this, they are certainly deserving of a full accounting. And thirdly, I think after reading this 28 pages, I, I think it could help to inform our decisions going forward, not just, not just looking back in a historical uh, context, but I, I actually think it will, will help the quality of our decision making going forward. Congressman Lynch, thank you very much indeed for joining me. Thank you, Pierce.